Today I'm going to be showing you how to fully set up Eclipse on your Mac FRC computer. So you're going to want to go into Safari. You're going to want to search up JDK. And the first link should bring you to Oracle. Here you're going to want to accept the license agreement and download the Mac OS X version right here. Once you do that, you can find it in your downloads. Click on it. And double click on this. Click on continue, install. Install the software. It only takes a couple of seconds. And then you can close this. You can move that to trash. Click X. And eject that file. So, once you do that, now you have it. Oops. Sorry about that. Now you have that go all the way into your root folder for Macintosh you can find it in library Java Java virtual machines and here it is so now we want to download Eclipse to download Eclipse you just go to eclipse.org and click download. Once you do that, you can install Eclipse by opening this and then clipping, clicking on your Eclipse installer, clicking open, click the first option, and you can choose whatever folder you want to. I'm okay with where that's at. So, once this is done installing, you should be able to launch Eclipse. And here, I'm going to uh, choose my workspace. I already have a workspace. So, I'm going to choose that. I can use that and launch it. I personally like to keep my computer clean, so I'm going to throw away um, all the installers and downloads. And then once I do that, I'm going to come over to Finder, and I'm going to go where I put my Eclipse folder here. And I'm actually going to go in here. I'm going to move it over to Applications so I can find it on Launchpad. So I can come back in here and throw this file away. Now you could have, when you install the clips, you can just change it wherever you want to go. You can do that too. Um, but now it just makes it simpler because now it's in my launch pad. I can go in here and here is Eclipse. Now I'm going to open Eclipse back up. And now we're going to download and get WPI Live all set up. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard um, <laughs> finding all this stuff, so I hope that this video is helpful to you um, right, right now you'll see that I do not have WPI Live. Um, my, my program for uh, robotics is here. You can see that I have, I have none of my WPI Live stuff anymore. Um, so just quick, I'm going to show you. Go to the help bar on top. Click on install new software. Once you have that open, you're going to want to click on add. And name it whatever you want to. I'm going to name it FRC uh, WPI 
slide. And then um, go in here and you want to do first dot wpi dot edu slash capital frc slash robo rio slash release slash eclipse so now click OK and then you can click down click on Java click next click next again click accept the terms of license agreement and finish click install anyway and click restart now now I'm just gonna you just need to close it and reopen it in order for the WPI live to be there now your WPI stuff should be all taken care of but now you have the SRX can talons and your navx you need to go into um, safari now that you have the wpi live set up you need to get to this page in order to download the ctre files for the can talons so how you get to here is you need to go up in your search bar and search CTRE Talon SRX Java. That should bring you here on the second link. You need to click on Tech Resources and over at FRC software API and you click this link that'll bring you over to the hero development board even if you're not using this directly um, this is what you need to get so you need to click this link CTRE suite no installer once you click that and download it only takes a second. You need to go into your downloads. Click here. Now, go into Java, go into library, and here is that jar file that is no longer included in WPI library. Now you can take this file and only this file over into wherever your WPI live is. Take this, go into user, go into Java, go and put it in library. Now that that is done, let me go back into downloads and take the rest of this file and throw it completely away because you don't need it. The last thing that you will need is for the Navex. Here, if you search Navex FRC Java in your search bar, the first link should bring you here. Once you're here, if you're on Mac, you need to click this link for Mac OS. If you're on Windows, you would just click this. and then you need to open up this file in Finder go into RoboRio Java and Library and here is the jar file that you need you need to take this jar file just like you did with the last one and put it exactly where you did with the last one
once you do that, again, you can take the rest of this folder. You don't need it. You can just empty your trash can. So now, what do we do? Completely quit Eclipse. And restart. Once we restart, it should be able to find all the files that it needs. And now you can see that we have no more errors and it is finding all of the libraries. I hope this helps. Thank you and have a good day.